Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'm reviewing Day Shift from Netflix. So this movie stars Jamie Foxx as a vampire hunter and he's kind of this loose cannon guy who's working on the fringes of the union that's behind the scenes that's doing all this. So there's this vampire hunter union. Hey Franco plays one of the union reps. He's kind of like a guy who you think of as stereotypical like pencil pusher. He works in the office. He's not someone who wants to be out in the field being involved in all the nitty gritty that goes on in the vampire hunting. But Jamie Foxx, he needs to get back into the union. He needs to get back into their good graces. So he's forced to have Dave Franco's character follow him along and make sure he's doing everything by the book so he can be paid his union wages, make enough money so his family can stay with him in California instead of moving to Florida. So basically this premise is kind of a buddy cop movie where you have Jamie Foxx's really like rugged, cool guy, vampire hunter. You have it up against Dave Franco's kind of silly little nerdy character alongside of him and then that juxtaposition of those two characters. I have to say the biggest thing about this movie, the thing that makes it really enjoyable and one of the things that I really liked about it is it's really well choreographed. There's some amazing stunts in it. There's some really cool fight scenes. All the action set pieces work really well. And that's not a surprise with the director being someone who's done some really fantastic work in the stunt world. So I think that alone makes the movie worth watching, but that doesn't mean that it's perfect by any means. The biggest knock that I'm gonna have about this movie is the dialogue. I think it's really clunky. I think the movie's not particularly well written. And that doesn't mean necessarily that it's a bad movie because this movie knows what it wants to be. It wants to be a movie all about, you know, the violence, all about the stunts, the action, the gunplay, all the things that are happening on screen in those moments. And on when it does those things, it works really well. The practical effects along with the CGI effects, they all seamlessly blend together. So the moments where they're fighting all these vampires, whether it be a nest or a one-on-one -on -one intense battle, it works and it's really enjoyable and it's really fun to watch. But when you have to kind of follow these characters around and the, the comedy is clunky and the, their relationships just aren't fleshed out, it just it, it really isn't compelling on that level. But I feel like most people aren't watching it for that reason. Right off the bat, you get Jamie Foxx fighting this old woman vampire and it's really crazy there's a lot of great like i said choreography and fighting and gunplay that's going along and the bodies it's just it's very it's a very graphic movie it's a very intense movie the scenes there's a lot of blood and gore and bodies snapping and all these characters fighting it's very visceral and it works so well on those points but it just it just gets held back because of the script writing and the acting while it isn't terrible there's just not a lot to work with. I would say probably the best performance in this movie is Jamie Foxx. I think he plays the character really well. He is kind of playing almost like that suave, likable Jamie Foxx character that you expect to, from him. So he does a good job at that. Dave Franco, he's, he's a good comedic actor. I don't think he's given a lot to do with this. I think the comedy falls a little bit flat, but there were some funny moments with him. Their dynamic does work. It's not the best chemistry in the world, but it does create some funny situational moments. Some of the best fight scenes in particular, some large groups of people fight, fighting in some of the condensed spaces. There's one scene where they're fighting in this house that's a hive. So it has all these different vampires coming out of the walls. You have some contortionists in there. You have a lot of just really intense fighting with all kinds of weapons, baseball bats, knives, grenades, just everything you can think of. So they throw everything in the kitchen sink and it's, it is really fun. It's a fun movie if you're into kind of the intense blood gore vampire slash zombie type movies that came out a few years ago. I think you'll really enjoy it. I personally really enjoyed it for that, but it, it's just held back, like I said, because of some of the other things in it, like the script writing and the dialogue and the overall story that's there. So if I were to rate this movie, I would give it a six and a half out of 10. Like I said, it's one of those movies where if it had really good script writing or it had a really good story or maybe just a bigger budget, it could have been a little bit higher. Maybe it could have bumped up a little bit higher than a six and a half. You have a film like, let's say, Mad Max Fury Road, where there's not a lot of plot, there's not a lot of story, but something about that pushes it to another level. This movie has some really, really good stunts, and that's what makes it an enjoyable movie and a movie that I would recommend if you're someone who's into stunt work and you're into kind of the intense things that go along with that. But if you're someone who's going into it for the story or going into it for some kind of compelling narrative, I think you're going to be disappointed. 